you know, nothing worse. You come out of your wet tent, your damp clothes, and you know what you get to put on? With your bare feet, wet sandals. So, here we are, day seven. I'm still wearing the same pants. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get eight days out of these, and we're off on the SS Spinner. Today the scenery started to change. The canyon got a little steeper on the sides. Uh, there was pretty good water so we didn't get stuck too much. Um, my cameraman did get a little bored and uh, went looking for fish. We did discover that we were number one raft so that was reassuring. And uh, we had a nice float, made great time. Uh, the few times we did get stuck it was more user error than anything. There was one more nice suspension bridge on the way out. I know we didn't have time to go over it, but it looked pretty cool. Uh, the rapids did get a little bit more exciting, uh, a little bit uh, more water going down them, but not too dangerous. Uh, our group did manage to taco one of the canoes, uh, got it wrapped completely around a rock, um, and made for some eventful times getting it off. And just so happened it was Taco Tuesday, so it all worked. Uh, so today we made great time. So this was, uh, I think, day seven. Uh, tomorrow we raft the last six miles in the morning and then uh, meeting up with a mule train to get us out. And then we have to hike three miles of that. So uh, we found a great spot. We're in early. It has stopped raining, which is amazing. Uh, we're drying out. But it's a pretty good day. Uh, we lost um, many people. I think uh, one person fell out of the boat twice. They'll go nameless today. Uh, uh, or maybe two people who shall remain nameless fell out of their boat. Um, and... Uh, one of the kids fell out, so I guess five total dunkings today, so not bad. So we, what are we making tonight? Tonight's menu is easy peasy tacos purchased from... May I introduce to you <laughs> easy peasy taco mix. And we are just letting it rehydrate and we're going to fry it up and serve it on flour tortillas. We have... Some salsa remnants. <laughs> we have some. We've sent the kids on ahead to get avocados. A suspicious <laughs> Mexican style cheese blend, but we are convinced that room temperature cheese will not harm us. We have sealed cheddar cheese, which we're feeling very confident about. And incredibly enough, I even packed freeze dried cilantro. So this is a view from just past our. Uh, campsite uh, our little river we've been struggling to go down has gotten a bit bigger uh, starting to get a little more exciting so I think tomorrow we have six miles on this We're pretty gorgeous so day eight uh, I just went to take my morning walk uh, uh, the pants have survived to day eight. Sh shirt is on day six. I have got a so cold last night. It's coldest night yet, and we had to be up early, so I've added a shirt and uh, I've given up on wearing my uh, sandals this morning. I can't put cold, wet sandals on, so I have my hiking boots on. I need to get them out anyways because we're hiking out. Uh, after we meet the mule train, so uh, how's breakfast? Down there. Mm. Isn't that delicious? We have some oatmeal and some coffee for our last morning on the river. How you doing, Leah? I'm doing well. Good um, breakfast. We're ready to get on the river for the last day. Get to a shower. Get to a shower and a bed. Last of the hanging out with all these folks in <laughs> camping conditions. Tonight, tonight we dine well and we sleep well. 
and we shower well. And I will peel these pants off. Eight days. Eight <laughs> days. <laughs> six days with a shirt. The rapids on this last day got really good. There was a lot of water. Uh, got pretty exciting. I had my uh, scout out looking for rocks to avoid and where to go. But uh, proved uh, pretty eventful. One thing about running the rapids with these big rafts is they weigh so much and you need a lot of room for oars. And when they hit a rock, they just start spinning. Not much you can do about it. Okay, go, go to the right. Yeah, you got one. You on the right. Yeah, I think we're going to try and split it. I did realize that my rock cider could uh, bark right orders, there. but uh, the engine uh, powering the oars could only respond enough, so sometimes uh, his directions uh, couldn't be followed. Oh no! Yeah! The rundown on the, the where we're pulling out and the warning don't miss it but we got a nine mile of whew, best amusement ride you'll ever have if you survive so we're not gonna miss it the rapids kept coming we were getting close to the end uh, we're down to the last rapid and right then there? things kind of slowed down. We, we had been making great time, but uh, then a little bit of disaster occurred. We managed to get the raft wedged on a rock and just impossible to get off uh, no matter what we tried. Uh, so we ended up unpacking the raft and uh, so uh, still had problems after that, but we managed to get it off. Of course, I So this is the crazy rapid. We got stuck on one of those rocks at the end. We just got free by unloading the boats, so now we're trying to load them back up. We have a great view from this cliff. Ah. This was definitely one of the more challenging parts of the trip. Even portaging was better than this. So this is our takeout. Uh, nice sign. They actually suggest taking out right up here when the water's low. Or you go straight into the canyon, which is like nine miles or so. Um, and there's no way out after that. We are have to pack everything in these up the hill. 
so when you bring a ton of stuff you've got to carry a ton of stuff yeah this is a I signed up for a I want a good eight day like some sort of Disneyland ride did you see this qualified as an e-ticket <laughs> yep back on back on back on uh, all right I gotta stop talking to you guys and start working look at the happy family snapping their touristy pictures there are the horses okay. there's our pile of stuff and we gotta keep on going so we have a three mile hike uh my toes hurt from the water shoes and all the sand uh these folks are gonna be packing up behind us and uh, getting our stuff out. So they're gonna be like an hour behind us, I think. I have found the best diving platform and no time to go do it. Right down in there would be perfect. Right off that ledge. Uh, but I won't be back. Here's our tour guide. You know, I shouldn't have gone with the budget tour guide. <laughs> I should have paid extra. Should have gone with Costco or something. I don't know. This JB's discount tours. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I wonder if I can be anonymous when I rate them. So this is down the canyon that we got out of have uh, pulled out. It gets pretty brutal down here. Certainly would have made it with my raft. We are at the end. And this bridge, I think, marks the end. Leah! We made it! I'm ready for something cold to drink. Oh, yeah. This is what they meant by, uh, yeah, you'll die if you go past that. Yeah. That's where our river turned into. We made it. Our trucks, like it, no. our trucks got driven like 300 miles up. <laughs> They're so dirty. Uh, probably between getting back out of the trailhead and up here, it's been like uh, four hours on a gravel road, I'm sure. So the drive out was about 80 miles on a pretty nice gravel road and uh, got back to civilization. There she is. <laughs> I've I'm retrieved alive. her. Two staples in my head. My backside is swollen and cut up, but I am in one piece. In peace. And, and out. And out. Almost like in civilization. <laughs> You know what's really cool? I've been invited to use a bathroom. <laughs> like, not Mr. Groover. We got a, we got a yard sale going on. Hey, how much for a raft? For you, free. You get, you guys getting rid of your oars, see? You didn't get us doing oh, all the work. Oh. oh. Thank you. Yeah, you gotta get us pumping. Well, didn't even get her on the rafting trip and got her working. <laughs> so this is all the equipment. Laid out. Frames, paddles. Oh, this thing. The crapper. Mr. Groover. And, uh, Pumps and what an assortment of stuff. Glad to give it back. 
so I think we are officially done.